So we are getting ready to get started with our homeschool day. And we had a nice little pleasant surprise this morning. We had snow flurries. We had, actually it was a lot more than flurries, but it's, um, there was like a nice Mama. dusting, but Mama. it's already melted. Um, I'll eat our daddy. Guess what, we got a new trash can. New trash can. It worked, it kept Max from turning it over last night, didn't it? Yep. It's got a nice lid to keep that cat out, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And it worked. Mommy did not have to clean up any mess this morning, so that was wonderful. Um, so, yes, I'm getting ready to start with Mason's reading lesson. We had a really yummy smoothie this morning. We had a peach strawberry banana smoothie with uh, chia and flaxseed. It was very yummy. I did the recipe out of that new book that I got at Aldi yesterday, and it was amazing. Very good. Mason, come over here. We'll sit at the table, please. Come on. Come sit beside me. Come on. So we're going to get um, busy. I'd like to get Mason's schoolwork done really quickly today if he can get motivated and focused. Can you be motivated and focused? Oh, Papa, if you want to get motivated, then I'll just sit on my desk. You want to sit at your desk? Yes. Let's sit over here because mommy, uh, Jacob's at mommy's desk. So let's sit right here. Come on, silly goose. I feel weird like this. Scoot your chair closer to mom. All right, let's take a look at this lesson, okay? All right, let's say the sounds. Say it slowly if you can, but don't get bored. Wow, good job. All right, word reading. Here we go. So... We are just about through with our homeschool day, and I am making some apple crisp again. I just have to make it. Daddy's home today with us. It's a cold day. We had some snow this morning. It's all but gone now, but we may be getting some more on Monday, which will be fun for the kids, not really for mom and dad, because we desperately need dad to be able to go to work. <laughs> So, when dad can't go to work because of the snow, it makes things tough for us. So, um, anyway, we're hoping for no snow, but the kids are hoping for snow. Ooh, I need snow. <laughs> Mason wants snow. A lot of snow. A lot of snow. No, mommy doesn't want a lot of apple? snow. Not at all. Yeah, was, you can have one little slice of apple. Yeah, one little slice. A big one. A big one? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, they, are good they are so yummy, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to get some salt. We're going to put a little bit of salt in here. Let's see if I can get you guys in my cabinet. I want bigger. Huh? I want bigger. You want an apple? No, I want bigger. Here. There you go. You're welcome. I want bigger. Okay. So anyway, Daddy loved this apple crisp that we made last, was it last week? I think it was last week. So we're making it again because it was by far the best apple crisp we have ever had. Ever, ever, ever. So um, the only thing is I don't have any more pecans. So I'm having to use walnuts. So we're going to make it with walnuts and see how that goes. I love walnuts anyway, so I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um... So I'm making the crumb topping right now. I just need to add a third of a cup of my butter and then work on the filling. Let's see. So I think I need to, you know, I didn't sip my butter out and let it get soft. So I'm probably going to have to put the microwave on the lowest setting and just soften it a little bit that way. What are you doing, my love? Hmm? What are you doing? Are you hiding? Are you hiding? You are? So that's yeah. what we're gonna do. You're playing hide and seek? There's something about a nice cold winter day makes me want some apple crisp. So that's what we're gonna make. Delicious. Me? What? <laughs> Don't put me in here like this. <laughs> Uh, horrendous. What? You look beautiful. No, I'm going to put you in. You will lose subscribers by the handfuls. <laughs>
making soup. Daddy is making some wild rice soup. Isn't that what it is? Wild rice? Yummy! Here is the yummy wild rice soup. Let's dip it. Yummy, yummy. So, I'm thinking since I have the whole family here gathered at the table that I might read our devotion while we have lunch. Since we haven't done that yet. And this is the Jesus Calling devotions for kids. Mama, it's hot. Did you burn your lip? Yeah. You gotta blow. You gotta blow soup before you eat it, baby. It's it's very hot. Daddy's blowing it for you. <laughs> Is it hot? Your face looked like it was really hot. It's a little hot. Alright, so we finished eating lunch and looks like Maddie did a little number on Jacob's math book while we were cooking. Oh, but anyway, we are doing his lesson. Today he is doing multiplying powers of 10 and multiplying numbers in scientific notation. He does Saxon homeschool math, 8-7. I did. Mm -mm. I actually had filmed me showing you guys his, his, um, his math book and some of his other curriculum the other day, but I did not include it into the vlog, so I'm going to try to do that today. Um, so he does Saxon math, 8-7, and that's what we're working on. He's on lesson 83. Mama, daddy, me. Huh? Okay. He's going bye bye. He's going bye bye. He's going bye bye and me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mom. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you guys the rest of what he uses for his curriculum. Oh, look at you, princess. Are you playing with Play Doh? Yeah. You are? Uh-huh. You look beautiful. Are you dressed up like Elsa? Yeah. <gasps> oh. And also Princess Anna. And Princess Anna too? Yeah. I love it. And pretty blankets. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Look at this and table. See, and a green one. Mm-hmm. green one. That is green. I've got a big mess. A really big mess. And here's my apple crisp. Yum, yummy, yum. Yum. So, um, Stacy, I really am craving pumpkin pie. Since you guys said you were making pumpkin pie, I've been thinking about it ever since. Let's try this apple crisp. I am a lover of all things pumpkin. I absolutely love it. Let's see how this turned out. It's good. I smell it. Guys, look mm. at this. Did you even see the wood this is for? Look at this. We do want to see something else? Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool, man. We can do it like that. That's a neat little toy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or you can put this in like that. Awesome. What is this? So for three days in a row now, the kids have been helping dad outside with getting the leaves up and just doing a lot of yard work. And that leaves me in the house by myself, <laughs> which is, this sounds terrible, but it's like really nice just to have some uninterrupted time to do what needs to be done and not have any interruptions or demands and um, so it's time for me to get the house in order and since we had such an incredibly late lunch it was more like a dinner it's already five o'clock so we've had our um, I just ate the apple crisp it was so good so we had apple crisp and we had that soup so um, I basically just told dad that that was more like a dinner than a lunch because it's five o'clock um, so um, I'm not going to cook anything else for today. And if the kids get hungry, like, you know, in a few hours, like 8 o'clock, they can just have a, a light snack before bed. And then that'll be it. But I'm not going to do any more cooking. And I'll just plan for some yummy food tomorrow. And Gavin has a game tomorrow at 
He actually has two games. He has a game at 11.30 and he also has a game at 5.30. Um, and this is my weekend to have him and he's out of school on Monday so I have him on Monday also. But because his game is so far away, um, his dad said that he would just keep him tonight and then take him to his 11.30 game tomorrow and then we could just come to the 5.30 game and then take him home from there. So and that's what we're going to do. I miss my Gavin so much. Oh, it is just heart wrenching when you don't have one of your children a lot. And um, this is a fairly new arrangement for us. You know, it's this is really the first year. Well, we're going on second year that we've done this where I have not had him through the school year, but just on the weekends. Um, and if you're a mama, you know how hard that it is to be away from your children. It just really is hard, but it was a selfless decision that I made so that he would have a good education. Um, his dad did not agree with the homeschooling and that's something that I couldn't, I couldn't fight. So he has, you know, we have 50, 50 custody and he has 50% say so on, you know, what kind of education he gets. And so we both would have to be on board with homeschooling and he just wasn't. So it was a compromise and we just reworked our custody arrangement, but it's been tough. It's been really tough. It's been hard for me. Um, it's been harder for me than um, I probably let on, um, but it's just been, yeah, it's been tough. I struggle with it a lot, actually, about not having him here during the week. It's tough, but maybe it'll change. Maybe, you know, we'll see, but I don't know. Now that he's kind of established at that school, it's, you know, he's got friends, and then you run into that whole issue that you don't want to take them away from their friends and everything um because really our court order says that he's supposed to go to school in my school district but at this point i really don't want to you know i mean i want him to have a say so and if he's happy where he's at and it really is a good school um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna push it I'm just going to try to get as much time as I can with them when I can. And that's about as good as I can do. It's never easy when you have a, you know, shared custody arrangement. Divorce is never good. It's never, ever. It's, I don't think it's ever, you know, it's never like good. But um, we have to do the best we can with what we've got. Situation that we have. But right now, I've got to get this house picked up because it is a total mess. All this Play-Doh is everywhere. Kitchen's a mess, downstairs a mess. It's about that time of day that I always feel like I need to do lots of picking up. So I am going to set the camera down and I'm gonna see how much work I can get done in a short amount of time. I'm just gonna try to kick it into high gear and see what happens. Usually, if I get really focused, I will set a timer and like race myself. <laughs> it's like a little game that I play with myself to see how quickly I can clean the house up. And believe it or not, that little trick, little game that I play with myself usually works. It usually gets me going. As long as I don't turn YouTube on because then that definitely slows me down. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just set a timer and see how much I can get done. And I'll see you guys in a bit.
so Do we're what? sitting here cuddling. Yes. We're just hey cuddling. I'm Tom. Maddie's watching Peppa Pig on my phone. I'm Mason's Mason. watching a movie that is messing up now from Redbox. Daddy went and got a couple of movies from Redbox. He's watching Pan. Redbox, what's Redbox? That's where you rent movies. Glasses. But it's messing up. Mason, why don't you go hit stop and then hit play again and see if it helps. But I am so excited. Oh, I don't know. It's the square. It's the square. Then that stop. And then play is a triangle. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. The one right beside it. Let's go now. Yeah, that should be. It. Yeah. Would you like an eye test too? No. They're working. <laughs> These movies always have scratches. Pepper is at the optician. So um, I'm so Mr. excited Pony because I have Pepper, already gotten the vlog edited and it is uploading now, right now, which is so exciting. Oh, and it's not even nine o'clock yet, so I'm way ahead of schedule. I almost never get the vlog done before like midnight so I'm really excited you've watched two movies well are you gonna keep watching this if you are then you probably need to stop and play again because the volume is not working hit stop and play one more time now hit play do you want to skip it forward a little bit Reading a lot of books right now. I'm actually reading this one and I'm reading the uh, 